So I took a couple of days off, I took some time to reset, and then this morning I logged back in, I responded to all my clients, and it's almost the start of October, which is <laughs> so wild. So what I'm actually gonna do today is plan out for the month ahead and create some structure and put some things in place to give me that sense of momentum because as annoying as it is to keep talking about lockdown in my videos, that's just my reality right now. Like in Melbourne, I feel the energy is pretty heavy. People are tired. So today I just want to organize as much as I can. I'm going to schedule everything out. I'm going to make some plans. We're going to set some goals. Oh, and oh my gosh, I'm going to batch prepare this soup. I kind of like threw it together last night hoping that everything would fit well in terms of flavor and it did so i'm gonna make it again today i'm gonna share the recipe with you it's so delicious even though it's technically spring now it's still a bit rainy still a bit dreary here so it's a super mood. So if you're going into colder weather, maybe you'd like to try it as well. And on my last couple of days off, I did such a deep clean, like everything. I'm not used to carrying my camera. This is super heavy. So I'm just gonna set a little phone timer for 20 minutes, see what I can get done in that time and do a little bit of a tidy up. actually about to enter Q4. So I'm actually gonna set some bigger goals than I normally would because something that I like to do, whether it's like creative wise, like YouTube stuff, or whether it's to do with my business, is I like to have like overarching goals for each quarter and then I'll break them down into smaller tasks for the week. Having it in a calendar or like some other thing that I can keep referring back to helps me feel more relaxed because then I don't stress about what's happening. It's like a healthy reset for your mind and just your mental health in general because I don't know about you, but I feel like it's so bad to try and like hold on to everything up here. And I used to use notebooks to do this sort of stuff, but I just found like when I'm working with other people, collaborating with other people on projects, I would need them to be able to access what we're working on at the same time. So I use Google Calendar to organize myself and then I use Asana to keep everyone together. I like Asana, but sometimes I wish there was something that was a little bit more user friendly. It's really clunky and messy. Don't tell me to use Notion. I hate Notion. <laughs> just putting it out there, I think Notion is so ugly. And I hate that it just looks like notes in your phone. Oh, no, no thank you. I can only show you these five days of the week though, just because on my Sunday and my Monday, I have video calls with my one-on-one -on -one clients. So for the sake of privacy, I don't want their names like coming up on the screen and stuff. I'm sure you can understand. So one of the big things that I worked on this year was my PCOS program. I actually wanted to start putting that together last year, but I feel like everyone's year last year was a little bit of a write off. Anyway, if you're interested in it, I'll leave it linked in the description box. I'm not gonna ramble about it here too much because I feel like I've talked about it a lot in other videos and posts and things. So I'm gonna use my Asana to set some goals. I always have lists of things that I want to work on and I'm gonna go through and pick which one I feel will be best for this quarter. Like I, I keep a running list and that's something I recommend that everyone does because I feel like ideas can come to you at like really random times and my thought is one of the worst things you can do is like get an idea and then immediately decide to work on it and pull it together sort of haphazardly and not give it the attention that it deserves or quit the project part way through. So I want to put together another little ebook for any of my one-on-one -on -one clients or anyone who was previously a one-on-one -on -one client. I've also been putting together new training programs, some for home and some for the gym and it'll actually give you access to my app to load it onto your profile. I feel like I'm just talking about so many products, but I'm just giving you like a rundown of what sort of things that I'm working on. But anyway, but I will be opening them up to the public at some point, but I really need gyms to open so I can film the exercise demonstration. And I'm also gonna book a studio and film the demo videos for the home training programs. There's like body weight only, or there's at home with equipment. So there are a couple of the little things that I wanna work out. So basically what I wanna do is have that like overarching look of the three months and 
and then I like to look at the month ahead and break that down because obviously every week I have ongoing responsibilities as well. I like to have this all in place so I can just focus on the 24 hours ahead. By planning this out and having like an overarching plan, I know what direction I'm going in. Like not every week is the same for me. Some things that I do always have to do though is the client work, my training, recording and audio transcription of the blog post that I put up on Eat, Run, Lift because whenever I upload an information post, I always like to make sure there's an audio as well. Then I always have to take a little bit of time to plan out YouTube videos and I have to block off a whole day in my schedule or like segments of multiple days to film a video. At the end of each month, I've been trying to do a little check-in just because I feel being in and out of lockdowns for so long, you really lose track of time. Like I feel like last year, the whole year slipped away before I even realized it. I started doing these like end of the month check-ins, which is something that I never really did consistently before. Like I would try it for a month and then, you know, forget about it the next month. I even set a little reminder in my phone, you know, what's my biggest victory from the last month because I want to be able to look back on something positively. Why am I always hitting something with something else? So one of the things I like to check is what was my biggest victory? And for me, it was like finishing the PCOS program. So I'm actually going to write that down. Creating a standalone course for women who have PCOS is something I wanted to do for the longest time. I also wanted to ask myself which habit slipped the most because for me, I want to stay active. That's something that I want to do even in lockdown when it feels really hard, like we've got some weights and things like that that I can use. But I noticed um, I'd been trying to go out for these morning walks most days just because a lot of the time I sit at my desk. Like there'll be some days where if I don't have a workout planned in, like let's say it's a rest day and I'm working that day, I'll literally get 600 steps in the whole day. Like it's nothing. For me, the habit which slipped the most was like getting out and being active. Like I was still doing the weight training stuff, but I wasn't going 
going out for walks as often as I would like to. So what I decided to do instead was just swap it and just go, you know what, I'm just gonna use the exercise bike and that's fine and I can play Pokemon on my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> the next question is one that I've been stuck on for a little while and it's like, what would I like to do differently this month? Um, there's so many things that I would love to film for you guys. And I was actually thinking of making like a Patreon style membership where I can just upload more of like whatever I want because unfortunately the YouTube algorithm madness isn't supportive of that kind of behavior. And when I started my YouTube channel, if you've been here since the beginning, it would be like, sometimes there's a makeup tutorial, sometimes there's a video about decluttering, sometimes there's a video about this, a video about that. And it's just like, my content became like so widespread. I'd still love to do that, you know, but it would actually be so bad for my YouTube channel if I did that. So I was thinking what I might wanna do is have like a separate platform where there's no sponsored content, no ads, and I just make those like whatever I want kind of videos, like one to two times a month. Plus I was gonna put some exclusive recipes on there as well. I found a way if I host it through my Squarespace site, I can actually put like a chat forum in there so we can have our own private chat. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about doing that. I can do updated makeup tutorials. I can put workout videos on there. Like I'm actually so excited about the idea of this, of just being able to film and edit and post whatever I want, I mean, to a degree. So this month I wanna like think a bit differently from the behind the scenes perspective of that kind of thing and go, okay, what sort of things can I put in there? And I already started a, a list of ideas of stuff that I wanna make for that. If you would like to know when I make that available, jump on my email list. I'll probably let them know first or Instagram, one or the other. Um, I'll have them linked in the description box. And I'm gonna set three like personal goals just related to everyday life sort of stuff. So uh, the first one is that I'm going to meditate for at least five minutes each day. I'm going to read another book and I'm gonna continue my no spend challenge. I'm up to day number. One, two, three, five. I'm up to day number 20. The only things that I've bought in the last 20 days have been groceries and supplements and food for the pet. I was talking to one of my clients, Ashley, about it, and she's in Melbourne too, in the lockdown too. And I called it like a little dopamine detox. So I was just finding myself buying a few unnecessary things. So I was like, let's just set a challenge. And I set myself 30 days, but I'm actually feeling really good with it. And I'm probably gonna push it to 60. And we'll see how we go. I love setting just little challenges like that. I don't know why. a quick little thank you to Squarespace for partnering with me on today's video. They're an all-in-one website building platform and they're the host which I've used to actually put together both my health and fitness blog, Eat, Run, Lift, and my personal journal. It's such an easy to use platform which gives you the simplest way to showcase your brand, band, portfolio, resume, business, whatever it is that you wanna share. They have an incredible 24 seven customer support service team and simple templates which are as easy as scrolling through their gallery, selecting the ones you like, and then adding in your branding like your colors and fonts. But the reason that I decided to use them is because they have such in-depth blogging capability it simplifies the whole process so that the back end of running the business doesn't have to be such a headache. So when it comes to things like building out your SEO, having accurate analytics so you know where to put more of your effort and your energy so you're not wasting time just publishing content, you know exactly what people come to your site to see. You can start a free trial with Squarespace today and experience exactly why they're my choice of host. And when you're ready to publish your site, use the link that I've left on the screen or in the description box and that's going to take 10% off your first purchase. You made it all the way to the end. I appreciate I appreciate you so much. It's 7.17 at night. I'm gonna go wash my face and watch Game of Thrones. I started it from season one, episode one again. I don't know why I did that to myself, but anyway. I'll catch you soon. Bye.